A few weeks ago, I did a video restoring this tiny little pocket plane, and during that restoration, I found that making a blade guide for sharpening the knife was extremely beneficial. Typically, I sharpen all of my knives with a whetstone, and after years of practice, it's fairly easy to get a consistent bevel on both sides. However, when you're first starting off, it might be useful to have a blade guide. I started my build by trying to identify how much of a gap I needed between the spine of the blade and the whetstone. I'll try to show you here at the camera what I'm talking about, but there's two things we're looking for. One, we need that blade to be contacting on the cutting surface and not further back. Otherwise, we'll have to grind off a large portion of the belly of the blade in order to sharpen the edge. Secondly, we need to look at the gap between the spine and the stone to determine how big of a guide we need to create. The gap ended up being almost exactly equal to the spine of the blade, so I start sketching out a piece of wood that has three times the spine thickness. This doesn't have to be very accurate, it's just a starting point from which to walk into my final dimensions. I cut it to the appropriate width and then ran a groove down the center with a table saw to see if it would fit the spine on first try. I'm noticing one side's a little too thick here, so we're going to have to take a couple passes on the hand plane to bring it in. But it does snap right into the blade with just a single pass on the table saw. Now different knives are going to have different thicknesses of spine, so this won't always work on the knife that you're using. Here I'm sketching out the blade profile so that we have an equal distance between the piece of wood and the edge of the blade. This should maintain a consistent bevel all the way across. I'm using these thin pieces of scrap wood to create a backing for my piece of material. This way I can get a hand plane across and actually start sculpting the edges, creating a bevel, and honing this down a little bit closer to the final dimensions. And the backing wood allows me to push against it and have it not slip across my work surface. The restored Miller Falls micro plane or hand plane or pocket plane has been an invaluable tool ever since I put it together a few weeks ago. I've already used this thing hundreds of times in the last few weeks because it's excellent at taking down a sharp corner or just tuning up a small piece of wood on any project that you're working on at the moment. The pocket plane got it into the ballpark and then I honed it in with a little bit of 220 sandpaper just going by hand. Now that we have it pretty close, it's time to give it a test on the knife. This prototype is a stand-in for what will eventually be a 3D printed product. The 3D printed version will come in a couple of different sizes where it will fit different knife spines, different belly lengths, and different lengths of knife so that you can use a couple of these on a multitude of your different cutting tools in your household. At first glance, this seems like it makes a really good guide to maintain that bevel across the entirety of the blade. My concern is that the wood would wear down over time as I work on the edge of the blade, so I'm going to go gently on that guide and then try to grind with more pressure on the edge of the blade. In order to see what works best with this guide, I'm going to try several different knife sharpening techniques. First, we're going to start off with a simple push-pull method that I use with hand plane and chisels. With this method, you want to push hard forward and then drag back lightly so that you don't build up a burr on the edge. I find that after trying out my standard circular method, my push-pull method, and swiping methods, that my muscle memory kicks in and I just sharpen this as I would any other knife. The only thing I have to say cognizant of is trying to keep a little bit of pressure on that piece of wood so that I don't snap into my own rhythm and negate the guide entirely. This isn't a test of my knife sharpening ability, this is a test of a possible new product for the channel. It looks like it did an excellent job of maintaining a consistent bevel across the entire surface, so I'm going to move on to final honing on the other side of the whetstone, which is a 600 grit versus the 300 grit on the side that I use to set the bevel. If you look closely, you can see that the edge of the blade is very consistent, very shiny, so we are only hitting the parts that we want to hit, and we're good to go. It can be difficult to demonstrate how sharp a knife is on screen, so what I typically do is cut whatever material that knife is made for. This one is my bushcraft knife, so it needs to be able to make really good feather sticks, as I'm demonstrating here, and it needs to be able to split down larger pieces of wood by cutting cross grain and then splitting down the grain, as you see here. Overall, I'm fairly pleased with the result, and the advantage here is that with this technique, I don't need to have years of experience setting the bevel. I can just pop this on the back of the knife, 
make sure it's resting lightly against the whetstone as I work, and it does all of the hard work for me. Let me know in the comments below if this is something that you'd be interested in adding to your own kit or just having around the house. Thanks for stopping in and take care.